Hello Bayside and Galt. This is Pastor Rosendo here and uh, first of all, I want to say I miss you guys. I can't wait to see you all in a large uh, group. But in the meantime, God has a plan and he has a purpose for what we are going through both in your individual lives but also as a church. And I want to encourage us to remember that. Remember that truth that God has a plan. He is not unaware of the strain the, of the circumstance that we're living in right now, the strain of not knowing when it's going to end, the strain of the different responsibilities that we have, the increased responsibilities, and the strain of just day in, day out, managing the tension between concern and desire for freedom and, and the range in between. And I want to remind us, at this point in the day, that we could still come to God with whatever the day has been like, with whatever we forgot to trust him and trust him with at the first part of the day. Maybe we said we we're going to wake up today and say, today is the day I give you all of my trust. And that's that. Today's the day I'm going to pray to you. Today's the day I'm going to be the mother, father, son, daughter, friend, employee that I want to be. And so the day has come and gone and you're hoping that'll take place tomorrow well how about right here right now we give that all up give it to jesus right now and let him lift that off of your heart lift it off out of your mind whatever the worry is that you have right now whatever the concern is give it to him trust him with it and be encouraged the rest of today it could be like a new day starting right now matthew eleven twenty eight through 29 reads come to me all you who are weak i'm sorry come to me all you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest take my yoke upon you and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light isn't that awesome an awesome reminder from jesus right here right now at this point in the day or maybe wherever you are uh, hearing this whatever part of the day you're, you're hearing this that we could come to Jesus and give him all of our burdens be reminded that yeah we are weak you might feel completely spent right now you might feel like Lord I don't have another minute of strength left in me and yet there's a whole night ahead of me to take care of the kids to take care of responsibilities give him that one minute surrender a hundred percent of what minute you think you have left of strength and see what he does with it. See how he multiplies it. Just give it all to him. The worries, the concerns that you have, give that all to him. That's what it means to be yoked to him, to be come alongside him, to use his strength. Keep walking and threshing the ground, but it's his strength, his experience, his knowledge, his wisdom, his everything. Right here, right now, at this very moment, exchange your weakness, your tiredness, the tiredness in your soul, Exchange that for his strength, his ability, his joy. Easier said than done, but it is only done and received by surrender and trust. Just right here, right now, say, Lord, I trust you with what today has been and what tonight will be. I trust you and I give you what's left in me. And I look forward. I watch, thankfully, for what lies ahead. I don't know what tomorrow is going to be like, but I know from this point forward, right here, right now, if you trust Jesus, give him your burdens, give him your everything right here, right now, the rest of today and very possibly tomorrow will be the best that there has been maybe in a while. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Take care.